Okay, at this time, uh, if you'll just stand by in case yes, some yes, of the sir. residents just speak and have a question. I will start. Uh, Larry Burrell. Larry? No, if you go to the podium, please. Catch that over there, Larry, in case you don't mind. Uh, my name is Larry Burrell. I live at 212 Downsbrook Drive. Of course, I'm against this because I think it will devalue the property and it cause so much traffic. But the one issue that I wanted to bring to the council's attention was uh, at the planning board meeting, the uh, city attorney made the observation that perhaps a precedent had been set at River's Edge subdivision because they have a conditional use for some of their property. But I would like to point out that there are only three houses there, and I talked with one of the occupants of that uh, subdivision, and he knew beforehand. And I think all, all the people who bought lots knew beforehand that they could use a certain portion of that land for multifamily dwelling. Whereas we have 43 houses in Downsbrook already existing, and then they want to rezone it. And I think that's a, I think that's a different uh, situation because all of these people have built their houses and bought their houses without any knowledge. When I bought the lot, if they had told me they were going to put multifamily dwelling in there, I wouldn't have bought a lot. How many of you would have? Nobody. I don't think anybody would. And so I think there's a, there's a difference, and I'm not uh, contradicting the gentleman, but I, I would point out that I think that there is a difference because we have bought the lots and built the houses and then on the back side of that where all the traffic will run right by our house and whatever else happens, they want to change the rules in the middle of the stream. Whereas if Mr. Edwards, when he first developed this, if he just said, I want, to re I want to zone some of this for multifamily dwelling, that would, have been, that would have been a choice and the people who bought the lots would have known in advance. And so that's, that's my statement. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Larry. George Nord. I'm George Norton. I live at 100 Berry Road Court, which is right across uh, from down. There. And I didn't know I was signing up to speak, but I, I, we don't need any more traffic in our area. We have enough traffic. Uh, we're going to have to four lane uh, the road through there, like 95. And I sure wouldn't want the value of my property to uh, decrease any. Uh, everybody in our neighborhood has worked real hard to keep, keep their uh, properties up and real nice and and I thank you a whole lot. And the next person is Ola. 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 Okay. My name is Al Grace Savito. I live at 103 McAllen Court. I am against the rezoning because right now I have my home up for sale. I've had people look at it and I get being told that there's uh, Mr. Davis has the four lots right next to me. And uh, they're afraid of what's going to go in there, what's going to go behind them. I've had my house on sale for 344. I've gone down to 320. Now on sale for 295 because of this rezoning and what's going to be built there. Uh, Mr. Davis has put in a mobile home type unit, uh, not like the old ones, a little more dressed up on uh, Old Farm Road. Now this is what I feel he's going to propose to put where I live now. I had two people, one doctor come in and told me he likes the house, but he doesn't know what's going to go in. Uh, as far as the road goes, there's only one way in and one way out because you can't go out the other way to build a road because the property right now is landlocked. I don't know if anybody knows that here, but it's strictly one way in and one way out on Downsbrook. Um, uh, Mr. Davis, last time two years ago we were at the meeting, said he could not put in single units because they were too costly to be put in, that he wanted to put in multiple units. Um, some of them were uh, regular tenants, some uh, Section 8. I am not against the Section 8 if they're single units, but multiple dwelling, 
is going to be hard on everybody, the traffic coming in, school buses, children, uh, people running back and forth through your yards, your lawns, and shortcuts, uh, so on. Okay. Uh, we're going to use the buffer that we have there. All those trees and those woods will all come down. Fine, he will put up a tree. It's going to take you 30 years to have that tree grow. I mean, to put a bush here and a bush there is not what we're looking for as a buffer. Okay. Mm -hmm. You already have 43 units in that area, as so far as I heard today. We have about 86 cars, more or less, between all these 43 homes. You're going to have close to 575 to 600 cars traffic coming in in that route. How are we going to get in and out ourselves? How is traffic going to be on Old Farm Road? There is no traffic light. Going in and out, pulling in and out, you're going to have accidents. And my main concern is that for our neighbors, all this going on is not easy. We bought the property there, we retired there, we're all senior citizens more or less in the area. We like the way things are there, we like the neighborhood, we like our homes. And I just feel that it should be kept that way. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, DJ Markham. I'm DJ Markham. I live at 215 Downsbrook Drive. Um, as you can see, there's uh, not nearly as much space to house 96, 96 families as we use for just the 43. Uh, when I w moved to this area, I had an opportunity to purchase a home uh, at a much less value in a, the, I see it was a, a Riverview Drive which uh, is a block farther south. Um, at that time, uh, there were, they were talking about multi-family dwellings on that road. And uh, since then, they have put multi-family dwellings of, of, of uh, Riverview. And at that time, that was the reason I did not buy there and chose to invest a substantial greater fund and the home that I have now. Uh, I, if I had known that they might uh, change the zoning to multifamily, I would not have bought the home I have now, especially when I could have uh, had just as nice a home for a lesser price. So uh, I am very against the rezoning. Uh, uh, we are, as she said, an elderly group and we like to remain peaceful and quiet. And with multifamily dwellings, I do not see that happening. Thank you, ma'am. Anyone came in late? Does anyone else wish to speak on this? Yes, ma'am, come right up. Ms. Markham pointed out we're elderly. We're also widows. There are two on my street. There are two on their street. The um, other thing is we're in the Weldon School District, and that's why the school buses that come in would be the Weldon School buses that go into Riverview. The other thing is to take all the trees down at 95, you take down our sound barrier. It was pointed out at the planning board that we already see the lights from 95. We can hear the traffic on 95 in the wintertime when the leaves are all off the trees. So we please, please deny this for us. <laughs> and if he wants to build on a single family like he bought it, that's fine. But keep it that way. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Lisa, did you get Miss Fussell's name and address? <coughs> 